Hey everyone, my name is Biz and welcome to your 7th flowchart tutorial. Now in the previous tutorial I had talked about loops and also I had also shown you a simple example demonstrating loops which was adding a few numbers and the number of items was provided by the user. Now in, in this example I will be doing the same thing but with some amount of modification. Now here after inputting each number I will check that whether the number is an even number or an odd number and at the end of the complete flowchart I will display the sum of the even numbers and the sum of the odd numbers so that's basically the functionality which resides within this flowchart so now let's get started so at first I start then I initialize all the different variables that I'm going to need here as you can see there are two variables to store the sum one is even one is odd even is there to store the result of the addition of even numbers and odd is there for that of the odd numbers so at first I ask the user to input the number of items and I store it in n and after that I go down and I ask the user to input a number and after he inputs a number I check whether the number is an even number or the number is an odd number so how do you check when does a number called an even number it's a number is an even number when it's divisible by 2 right or we can say that when a number mod 2 is 0 then it's an even number because what's the functionality of modulus suppose a modulus b what is the meaning of that if you can recall then a modulus b means a is divided by b and then whatever is the remainder it is stored in c where c is equal to a mod b so here we do the same kind of a thing so we check if a modulus 2 is 0 or not so if it's 0 then it means a is an even number so i follow the yes path and i add it in the even variable so how i do that i do it by even equals even plus a that by that i mean whatever is the value of even add it with a and store the new value in even itself and now if this condition won't satisfy that means a modulus 2 is not 0 so there is a remainder when I divide a by 2 so that means a is an odd number so I do it with like this odd equals odd plus a that means add the content of odd with a and then store the new value in odd itself now in either of the two cases after doing this operation what I need to do I need to increment the value of i right as we did in the previous flowchart after sum equals sum plus a we incremented the value of i right and we do the same here as well we increment the value of i and then we check whether the value of i is less than equals to n or not if it's not less than equals to n then you will display the value of even and odd which means the sum of the even numbers sum of the odd numbers right so let me just take some demo inputs so at first suppose the user inputs n to be 10 so he would input 10 numbers so at first he enters the first number and say the first number is 23 so he checks whether 23 mod 2 is 0 or not now obviously 23 mod 2 is not 0 right it's 1 so 23 is an odd number I go this path and I add it with the odd what is the initial value of odd initial value of odd is 0 so now the value of odd is what 0 plus 23 so the new value of odd is 23 so after that I go down I increment the value of i so the current value of i becomes 2 and then I check whether 2 is less than equals to 10 or not obviously it's less than equals to 10 so I again follow this path and I go here again so here I ask the user to input another number he inputs another number say it's 10 then I again go here and check whether 10 mod 2 is 0 or not now 10 is an even number so 10 mod 2 is 0 I follow the yes path and I add it with even so now the current value of even is what 10 
then I follow this path, I increment the value of i again, which is now 3, and then I check again 3 less than equals to 10 or not. So like this, how many times will the iterations go on? 10 times, right? Because it depends on the value of n. Whenever i becomes 11, this condition won't satisfy and it will go out of the loop and it will display the value of even and odd. And that's it. That's it with this simple flowchart. So I hope that's it for this tutorial guys and thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.